my name is Ben Teague from Ben Teague Guitar. Today I'm going to be teaching you the chords, which is the rhythm part of Oh No Not You Again by Australian Crawl. This is part three. So if you haven't checked out part one and part two of this song, which is the intro riff and the intro solo, be sure to check that out. So the first time through of the intro riff, which is in part one, it doesn't do anything because it plays two times the intro riff. So the first time, the, uh, the, the rhythm guitarist doesn't do anything. The next time it does, the next time, like the next time that it's played, it does. So it just holds the, the chords, which are, so the main structure is the D, the A and the G, and it just builds off that. So the first time through, doesn't do anything. Then the second time through, it just holds the notes. solo. And I'll explain the strong part later. And at the end, right at the end of the intro solo, instead of playing, instead of playing, um, lo the, instead of having the G longer, they shorten it and having the E minor in there to sort of finish off the intro solo. So now, the rhythm, of, so the strumming pattern. The main strumming pattern that there is, is down, mute, up, down, up, down. So I'll just do that again. Down, mute, up, down, up, down. So, in, so it uses that through the the whole song sorta. Of. Um but so what it does down mute up down up down down mute up down up down down mute up down up down up down mute up 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 down up down so on the G it does that trying pen twice every other time it does it once okay so like this So what it does though, so through like, um, let me tell you about two young guys that live down the coast, that is just the chords and sometimes uh, just to sort of finish off the chord pattern, they sneak a little A chord in there just to resolve back to the D. So. sneak two strums on the A, up, down, and then back to the D. So, for that, it's just the, for the, um, the verses. Then, for the choruses, there's the first chorus, and all the other choruses except the last, it does the same thing, but, it does the same thing as the verse, but the last one, they add an extra B minor in there. So, for the last chorus, they go. They go play those chords through um, three or four times it's up to you how long or short you want the song to be but then on the last one it goes so one strum on the A then the B minor two strums on the B minor then the two strums on the A chord then up down strum on the G 
then it does that this little riff which sort of is the same as the end of the intro riff but it's a bit different so i'll show you that now so open d string then hammer on to the second fret on the d string so then open G string, then open D string, then this part is exactly the same as the intro bit from now. So, um, so the uh, the seven the fifth fret on the D string, sorry. Then open G string, then open B string, then slide down to the 4th fret on the D string, then the 4th uh, fret, so open G string, open B string, then you slide down again to the 2nd fret on the D string, which so open G string, open B string, then it just resolves on the D. Now I'll play it through for you. So, uh, so the first time through doesn't do anything. The next time through the intro riff. to the last chorus. this video and don't to get don't check uh, don't forget to check out part one and two which is the intro riff and the intro solo and part four will be coming out soon which is the middle solo the solo in the middle of the song thank you for watching